Oh! More reason not to play FNAF 2. I really hope it was just that and it wasn't other things, if you know what I'm talking about. Generic control and the that goes me here. Back with another Game Theory FNAF reaction. Today we're doing this 10 year old detail solves FNAF. Apparently there was a new FNAF game, I think it's called Into the Pit, that recently came out. Now, I knew that this was going to happen because at the end of last week's video, because this was supposed to be the final Minecraft Game Theory video that they have, or lore related video that they've done, but I was like, at the end of the video, I was like, that should be out next week unless they drop a Game Theory FNAF or video in which I'll react to that, which knowing them, they probably will. It's been how many months? But here we are. You can check out reaction to the last FNAF Game Theory video. I'll leave it right up there. Also linked down below in the description. Also in two places on my channel. One being all the FNAF reactions, or FNAF Game Theory reactions, and another being all the Game Theory reactions. There's also a separate one for the Minecraft Game Theory reactions, as uh, we have one more to do that was supposed to be today, but they did the FNAF video. I literally called it. What? what? I'm pr I'm predicting the future right now. Thank you so much for being here. Shout out to the patrons. Three and all the months to get to all my reaction videos a day early, which is like 16 videos a week. Could not do this without the patrons. Literally could not do this without the patrons. I'm not kidding when I say that. I uh, do read all your comments, whether you're patron or whether you're subscribed. Now, also, likes are really, really important. And we're also, like, almost at 96,000 subscribers right now. We'll probably hit it by the time this video goes live, which means there are less than 4,000 subscribers away from 100,000, which is the plaque, which is just mind-blowing to me. So thank you so much for being here. Hopefully, I can make your day a tiny little bit better. But let's go ahead and jump into this 10-year-old detail solves FNAF. I cannot believe I predicted FNAF this. Two. I it's literally called enough, this. Right? But what if I told you that the mimic is in this video? No, this I'm was not supposed lying to be the to you. last no, Minecraft lore the video either. for the Game Theory. The mimic is here. They have been here since the very beginning. Give up. And this well, is FNAF 2, look which is the game closely, I refuse to play. You'll find that the mimic is Jump this scare? guy right here. Hmm, is it? Hello, Hello, Internet. Welcome which means to Game Theory. I'm also on Minecraft, which means what's the next Game Theory series? Whole years of FNAF. Feels like really? just yesterday I was watching Markiplier scream I didn't at this watch tiny unknown it. indie game, and now it's an indie horror empire I full of Captain games, Sparkle movies, play. books, and Jarnan. more merch than a Pizzaplex can handle. Ten years is a big deal. Believe me, we would know. And so to celebrate, Scott pulled out all the stops. Did we he? got an anniversary week full of fanverse games, oh. demos, books, movie teasers, and of course movie the teasers. crown jewel that into was the pit. Into the Pit. Though while that game offers a lot Which I know nothing about any of these? I know people I were talking talk about the anniversary about event. Though. Don't worry, that video is coming. I just need a little more time. So make sure you're subscribed so Team. you don't miss that video. When I already it drops. subscribed. Hope you also be a special approaching theorist. One hundred thousand store. Hint, hint. But for this episode, instead yeah, we have of a new franchise. About the biggest release Playtime, week, Hello Neighbor, the Ink Machine. The I don't know. Surprise. What should it be? You see, we knew about every release that was happening during this anniversary week ahead of time. Except that was except for one. Steel Wool had a mystery announcement slot, and a lot of us just assumed it was going to be DLC for Help Wanted 2, but that's mm -hmm. not what we got. Instead, Steel what Wool completely get? sideswiped us by revealing a 40 second teaser, not for DLC, but for a brand is it gonna new be the, game. Is it gonna be the we box? Open on a 70s style carpet. The camera tilts up that's... to reveal a Jack in the Box playing music. The music is stops, the, puppet? the box swear opens, to God, the puppet. and we hear a laugh as a clown mask peeks out from the box. The film reel we're watching begins to burn up, revealing the date, 1979. Oh. Finally, we see a title card appear from the secret darkness. of the secret of the mimic the internet lost their Yo, collective I haven't heard about this. over this i didn't see it on Only twitter or anything a game exploring the character that was a complete mystery when it appeared at the end of ruin unless you happen to read the books but it was uh, also going to be a prequel set before any other fnaf game a lot of so us have been now theorizing we're gonna, about that's the origins gonna of freddy's ever since so we much got lore. the fredbear singing show ticket in security breach and in 2025 it looks like we're gonna see if we will okay write. 2025 you know hopefully I'm not willing to, to wait that. that long. Call me impatient, but when you take a closer look, this 40 second teaser has actually told us a lot more than you'd initially what? think. What? This teaser confirms that we will write that the mimic is from the earliest days in Fazbear Entertainment. Oh, history. yeah, we knew but that. It also suggests Just the that animatronics the design. appearance wasn't in ruin, nor was it security breach, nor was it help wanted. No, we are being shown old, old. that the mimic 79. has actually been hiding in plain sight since the very is that the same beginning. carpet? The pieces were 
were in place for us to figure it out. We just weren't able to follow the breadcrumb, or should I say, paper trail to realize sooner. <laughs> Is that so really wind up that music box, friends, because when it opens, we'll be diving in head first to see what secrets the mimic uh, Do has I play this hiding. game? I don't know. I, I've so, only played I believe FNAF we one. may finally be able to resolve and one of the biggest location. conflicts currently year. facing the FNAF timeline. A wound first inflicted on me. Oh, yeah. Oh, I just remember who I played that with. So, let's get into it. The first thing we got to talk Ouch. about is the design of Funky Tom over I here. The Joe Keep fan, name aside, given Kitten. the title of this game, it feels pretty unlikely that this is supposed to be anything other than the Mimic. But he's not the disheveled yeah, enemy we saw in Ruin. Now he's wearing a white mask with exaggerated eyelashes, and rounded nose. cheeks, and a bright red nose. You know, it's not oh, the puppet. I can feel the childhood trauma rushing back. It also <laughs> pops out of a jack-in-the-box, so clearly Steel Wool are going for a clown aesthetic with this newest <laughs> version <laughs> of the it. Mimic. Boop or the is it the oldest version? This new old look does tie into new our previous theories about the origins of Fazbear Entertainment. Was that the last video? In that video, was the last we discussed video. this poster from Help Wanted 2. A poster with a circus tent and the date 1970 on it. That, along with the mascot costumes in the ruined basement, glitch traps design, official artwork of traditional yeah. mascot costumes, and references throughout the books all seem to be telling it's us crazy that Fazbear how good Entertainment they are this. didn't start with the creation of Fred Bear's family diner, but as a, a traveling circus. Yep. circus. Instead of the animatronics or Springlock suits that we know That's and love today, this circus used more traditional, rudimentary mascot costumes. They were still the same characters, Freddy, Bonnie, yeah. and Chica, Who wants to see an actual lime or just a person so in a lime costume? there was one exception. We ended that theory suggesting that the Mimic was also part of that same Fazbear circus. It shares design Could similarities be. with Sun and Moon, a jester who was associated with the carousel from the Full Fest circus. Jesters are clowns, right? We watch it's a joke. Repeatedly in Help Wanted 2, we see Nat the gets. festival burn down, both in the carousel level and in the Fazer Blast level. And what else do we know is burnt? The Mimic. In the first epilogue of Tales That's from the terrifying. Pizzaplex, when the Mimic arrives, I it don't is like first the described as being burnt. For very Thus, similar reasons it seems like to the Mimic the, has been here since puppet. that full fest in the 70s. You might think I was celebrating this fact. My first FNAF theory was right. Let's go! Oh, that was the first one. But okay. then the worry began to sink in. It always feels a bit wrong when a prequel in introduces a new character. Plus, this franchise never gets rid Pikachu of characters. Pichu. We've had 28 versions of Freddy, 19 versions of Bonnie, and we <sighs> even got 11 versions far of too many. Balloon Boy. That's far Who too many. Who asked for that? No so one. then Not me. tried to I'm, awkwardly nope. insert the mimic into the previous lore. I mean, retcon much? Except, what if I told you we have seen this clown before? Somewhere but isn't you never FNAF suspect. FNAF 2. FNAF Two. I am, of course, talking about the characters I've been teasing since the start of the episode. The Paper Pals. No, I wasn't joking. These guys really are the key to everything. If How you don't is the know paper who I'm talking about, the Paper Pals are these mimic, simple though. characters made from paper plates that have been hanging out on the walls of pizzerias ever since their introduction. To this day, we've never really given them much thought. Are they just there to be, look scary? To be that important. But their continued existence in the franchise has always struck me as unusual. Usual. In fact, the only reason I was reminded uh, of them oh, is because Darko. I was watching Dorco's playthrough of Into the Pit, and wouldn't you know oh, it, they're right they there. Are once again just hanging out. For them to keep showing up, especially in these modern titles, they have to be <sighs> important. And I think the weird clown Maybe mimic just is you the off. piece that ties them all together. Originally, there were three of these guys: a Freddy pal, a Bonnie pal, and are they actually this after thing. characters? According to okay. Game Files, he's just called Paper Buddy. And of the three, he's definitely the weird one. In FNAF. To, yeah, he could just yeah, disappear just... from the wall and oh, suddenly appear in your office. More he reason not to play FNAF anything. 2. He was just there now. Even his design feels out of place. The other two are clearly characters we know, Freddy and Bonnie. And he's Duh. just kind of like, could be anything. Any just like the mimic. Features. He's got red arms, blue legs, a big smile, and a big nose. It's just it's not so red nose, weird. Though. In a series full of animal characters, why have this generic humanoid looking thing? Naturally, the only logical explanation mimic? we had at the time was that this had to be Balloon Boy. He was one of the few humanoid characters right. we knew about by FNAF 2, and he wears a red and blue outfit. But now that yeah. I'm looking back, it has I'm the buttons. not so sure anymore. It's For also Bonnie round. Freddy, we aren't just relying on the colors to show us who they are. Oh, yeah, they no, that's extra obvious. extra design yeah. details that connect them to their iconic But the Mimic characters. doesn't, because Bow the Mimic ties, doesn't have hats, anything. Ears, that sort Could of be thing. anything. If this paper buddy was supposed to be Balloon Boy, why not give him some of his iconic attire, like the propeller hat or 
of the sign, or, you know, a balloon, the thing he is literally known for. What this therefore implies to me is that Paper Buddy a, is actually supposed to like be someone blank else. Canvas someone with a much simpler design. And the answer of who becomes extremely obvious when you take a look at their appearance in FNAF World. That's what? right, not only were these Why guys considered in important World? enough to be playable characters in one of the weirdest entries in this that, series, I think Scott, hates Scott this game, also right? used it to give us a vital clue about who this guy was supposed to be. And it's all Can because be of, any of one them? teeny tiny design change. We've gone over Paper Buddy's design already. The red what arms, they blue legs, buttons, big smile, happy eyes, big nose. All of that yeah. is the same in FNAF World, except for his nose. His red. It's still as big as before, and it's in the same Just place. Just like the mimic the in the box. Now different. It's been changed to red. And a red nose means one thing clowns. What we're what seeing is, is Paper Buddy's design matching exactly with the iconic design of clowns. And therefore well, yeah, uh, red also nose kind matches of... what we've seen from the mimic in this latest teaser. Now, I recognize now that, that this that... feels like a stretch. This is all down to interpretation and could That's be taken possible, a number of different yeah, ways. I Believe me, I was honestly unsure of all of this too. That was until I found this. The final clue that absolutely sealed okay. the deal for it me keeps, that like... Paper Buddy is it the starts out as a stretch and he's like, but the then there's this, then FNAF there's this. World. The first two are Prize Ball 2 and Mystery Box 2, both generic attacks that would make sense for any character in but any watch it pizzeria. Literally attack but mimic. the third and final the attack mirror. is called something very specific, Mimic Ball, okay. a move that mimics the last attack used. I could not believe it when That's I saw obvious. this. Of That's... all of the games, it was FNAF World showing us that the Paper Pals was specifically really able mimic to mimic others. The third Paper Pal from FNAF 2, Paper Buddy, is a paper version of the new clown mimic that we saw in the teaser. In my previous why theory, I it... mentioned how FNAF 2 isn't a revamp of the old I franchise, guess... but a callback to the circus origins of the franchise. The red why wouldn't they have it customized to look back like the clown the other than the red nose. At the circus. You have the carousel calling back to the carousel from Full Fest that we got I guess to see in Help Wanted 2. If and the now mimic we have Paper Buddy in calling the, back in this to the game clown mimic that the was red present buttons and, at that yeah. same circus. It all just Probably fits has a crazy smile on it too. so neatly. It could also explain the clown mask in things like Sister Location, the one that would later go on to become Ennard. Why hmm. is that mask in such a position of prominence? Because it was the third member of that original circus trio. Someone who had been there since the beginning. And that's the Mimic's Although, mask. Speaking of trio, while Paper Although Buddy quite being look like the it. Mimic and appearing in FNAF 2 makes sense, him being grouped with Freddy and Bonnie feels a bit odd, right? Even for the early days of the franchise, a clown isn't the obvious it one to in pair with one. Freddy and Bonnie. Chica I'd have understood, maybe even Foxy. But this guy is just so random. If you've yeah, followed us for a while, there? you'll know that we are obsessed with these kinds of details. The grouping of animatronics through yeah. merchandise well, why or Three. can often tell us a lot about the Do history Do they still the mimic franchise. merchandise? We felt like Foxy had to come later because he had a separate stage to the other three. It felt like Chica wasn't originally part of the group either because she had her own party world spin-off during Sister Location. And in yeah, Ruin, we figured out that Sun and Moon came much earlier because they were getting collectibles alongside OG characters, while newcomers yeah. like Roxy and Monty weren't. So placing the Mimic Clown alongside that, Freddy and Bonnie has design. to imply there's a special connection between between the three. So why make the Mimic the awkward third wheel alongside this famous duo? Well, it turns Maybe out- Maybe the Mimic wants revenge? is isn't just an important literary technique. It was also what super is the of important for performances at the circus, particularly what? when it comes to clowns. In a traditional what? circus, you would have three major clown I'm archetypes. Sure if I've been the Auguste Clown, like the White Face Clown, and the Contra Auguste Clown. We spoke about the Auguste Clown in our previous theory. These clowns were the ones with the red cheeks that were designed to appear silly and make children laugh. Often yeah. they were portrayed as an intelligent but lower class clown, the laborer, the one who would do a job often badly, which led to them getting a pie in the face or falling off a ladder, you know, they the were, typical Yeah, they were the silly stuff. one. Yeah. The white face clowns, on the other hand, are supposed to be more serious and bossy. They were of a higher and status, the sad ones. so Almost they like would mime. be responsible for assigning the tasks to the Auguste clown and would often and become that frustrated at their failed results. Finally, you have the Contra Auguste clown, who was the middle ground. Still lower class than the white face 
clown, but not to the same degree as the August clown. He's like uh, the normal clown, clown. literature, which, yes, is a thing that I read. The I don't know what kind of clown I am. The Auguste's role was to do one thing. Mimic the white face clown. No, I'm not making that up. Really? It was right there on the page in front of me. What really? we now have are three distinct Oh, yeah, they do. Clowns do do that. They do kind of like clown, mimic. A smart that is like a joke that they do. a mimicking clown. Now, look at who we have at the start of Freddy's. While we don't know a whole lot about the specifics of this Fazbear Circus, we do so know So who were the other clowns? Thing. Henry and William were actively performing during the early days of the franchise. One as a bear and one as a rabbit. Fred Bear and Spring Bonnie. William was the businessman, the serious one, the guy who was trying uh, to make Fazbear a success. The white face clown. Then there's Henry, the intelligent laborer who was building the telling animatronics. telling everything what to do, kind of how to work. And now we have a third. The Paper Mimic. Buddy, the mimic. Which mimic a clown them. animatronic that has been and there since the early days of the franchise. Now William, mimicking the when he committed actions of the on white face people. clown. William Afton. Making them the contra or goost in this trio. Three clowns, but he, he, three performers, but he's supposed to mimic three paper pals the, that have been there since the August the, the bossy one, but right? Sadly, he doesn't mimic Afton to be the one to mimic wasn't the best decision. When this trailer was announced, wait, Brian Freyamuth, the design director at Steel Wool, tweeted about it saying oh, the wait. evil that men do lives after them. The good is often turned. Dude, I love bones. the proper use of this semicolon. Is a quote oh. from Shakespeare's Julius Caesar. My immediate reaction was, oh yeah, this is about Afton being dead, and now his evil lives on in the mimic, who is now continuing to hurt and kill people beyond his death. Like we've been predicting this. Brian Fryermuth. I wonder if he's related to Pat Fryermuth. I Spelled think differently. it might be something more Football than that. I actually think that this line is telling us the main plot point that we will see in Secret of the Mimic. A plot this point that going to explain why the mimic is the, the way it is. That has haunted me ever since I love origin stories. Help wanted too. What did Henry mean by a wound first inflicted on me? This line comes from the Ooh. insanity ending of FNAF 6. Henry talks about how Afton used the souls of the children he'd killed to create Remnant and then continued to torture them to create the fun times. But the most important part of that monologue is when he turns inwards and begins reflecting on his own part in all of this. He ends up saying he needs to oh. heal this wound, a wound first inflicted on me, one that I let bleed out. For the longest time, we believed this was referencing Afton killing his daughter, Charlie. Yeah, she well, it, was the, Afton's first victim, which led on to the killing of all the missing children. That was the, the wound that was inflicted on Henry, the death of his own daughter, that then bled out to the death of so many others. But then yeah, Help Wanted 2 uh, came out, and it flipped that entire idea on it. They didn't react to it In that game, we had well. to light six gravestones in a specific order to receive the Matt, that is Bonnie a crazy suit Each jacket. grave had a different poppet next to it, each referencing one of the six main animatronics. Freddy, oh. Bonnie, Chica, Foxy, Golden Freddy, and the puppet. The five missing children and Charlie. However, Charlie isn't the first grave you light. She's actually the last one. Heavily hmm. implying that Charlie was the last to be killed. Well, we know Chica was first. I don't hate it from a law standpoint. There's a decent amount of evidence that can line up with it. But by suggesting we're going to have so many answers that line when that first prequel comes me, out being about Charlie's death. Instead, there had to be an earlier incident that wounded mm -hmm. Henry that would metaphorically bleed out, leading to the missing children's incident and the and death then, uh, of Charlie. Yep. So, what do I think this event is? Well, it all comes back to that Shakespeare quote. The line that Brian tweeted is delivered what by the character Mark Antony at Caesar's funeral. Caesar was murdered by the character Brutus. However, Antony isn't able to directly Didn't Mark Antony marry Cleopatra? So instead, he tactfully talks was around that the issue, calling Brutus an honorable man. This There's dynamic no between you and Antony honorable, and Brutus, but, okay. I suspect, is meant to be a reflection of That's Henry a joke, and Joke, by the way. Brutus was People able don't to realize I'm joking when I say that. Because Caesar loved him, which is similar to the tactic used by Afton throughout this series. Put on the spring oh, they're costume, compared to Judas. a character that the children loved, and use it to lure them into a back room and kill them. For this quote to be used to promote the prequel game from 1979, it's telling us that Afton was abusing the love of this character way before the missing children's incident. And this early murder at the hands of Afton is what I believe we will be seeing. I really hope it was just mimic. that and Maybe it wasn't it will even be revealed other things, Afton's if you know what first. I'm talking it's about. It's unclear if the person Afton kills will be a major character like Julius. Caesar is in the play, or whether it's just another Julius Caesar made the, the salad. importance more being how early it is in the timeline. We only have a 40 second trailer after all. Much more is going to be revealed as time goes on. But what is important is if William is Brutus, Henry must be Anthony, and that means he knew William.
William committed the murder. That murder oh. is going to be the wound inflicted on Henry. On the Fazbear business, on their friendship, that murder yeah, could have destroyed everything Your business partner does something like that. But as we know, what do you do? And Afton would go on to kill again. And then because it spirals out of like control. Anthony, Henry isn't going to accuse him directly. Maybe he huh. was concerned for his business Caesar survival. Maybe he was concerned about providing for his new daughter, Charlie. Maybe he just wanted to believe his friend could change. But whatever his reasoning, despite the wound Afton caused him, I don't know if my friend did things like that. If he I could... just allowed it to keep under going. any circumstances, it's easy to say now. English philosopher John Stuart Mill once said, "A person may cause evil to others not only by his actions, but by his inaction. Yep. And in either case, he is justly is guilty. accountable yep. to them for the yep. injury. That is why he feels yep. so guilty in the insanity speech, because he knows that his inaction in that moment led to the everything. Led also, to that straw still drives you crazy. One, not two, but three monsters: William, the yellow rabbit that would go on to kill so many children, the clown that was designed to mimic after, mm -hmm. now carrying on his horrible legacy, and, and himself, the man who stood by and let the first murder happen, leading to the deaths of so many Maybe it wasn't murder. Maybe it was something else. Including his and own daughter. Mm, I guess at the end I of the day, they really were the perfect. It could have been trouble. something else, but and then I it, it accidentally turned into murder. Lot to look you know? Forward to with FNAF. So many new games were that, That's also a possibility. Five laps at Friendly. I love racing games, so. new books and a second movie coming, which means it's gonna cost when is the second movie? Penny to keep up with this stuff. Thankfully, though, the sponsor of today's <laughs> oh, so video, again. SoFi, is here to help which you Which they sponsored the last you, Minecraft lore video, which the next Game Theory video <laughs> should be the final Minecraft Game Theory lore. Again. It might sound too good to be true, but SoFi is the ultimate finance app that helps you bank, That's a net worth 1.3 million. In one place. My wife and I recently moved out of our first ever apartment, which is a bit oh, nice. of a scary time financially. You've got to find somewhere new, yeah, find no. new suppliers, get new furniture. Supplier. The space. Thankfully, though, Utilities? So has been you don't really have to find this those for a while, so I knew I could count on them to help me out. Most yeah, it wouldn't be possible. Offer savings accounts of around 0.46% interest. That's which actually doesn't decent. Really help with buying that compared account. to other ones. I could probably find that level of savings just digging between my the cushions of my own. Actually, need to be However, fixed. SoFi has got my back today. So which they were supposed to call me yesterday, and they haven't. Six percent APY, ten times what most banks offer according to the national savings rate average. Just drop your money in the That's account, a crazy set up percentage. direct deposit, and in five weeks you'll have earned more interest than yeah, you would have done Yeah, this is technically a chase for a couch. I have the another one as a sectional in my living room and I'll have a swivel well, chair to match it. Not. Because if you're new to SoFi, they're offering you up to $300 when you sign up with Direct Deposit to help I've heard good things about SoFi. Rates Never use SoFi personally. Really I do own a healthy boost. So some of their stock. I, I have invested in the company. As not financial advice. Deal. Believe me, I know how this kind of money can make a huge difference whatever your situation is. Whether you're moving like me, Paying 10 grand? College, or Ten, just I'm sorry, was she just dressed like dream Velma? $10,000 is potentially life changing. So, for a chance to win, uh -huh. head on down to the description and yeah, click no, the link. Yeah, no, 10 so grand would be crazy. Forward slash game theory or scan the QR code that you see on screen right now to sign up for a SoFi yeah, checking ten, ten savings yeah, account ten, today. Ten, a yeah, big thanks would... again to SoFi for sponsoring this episode. I say and that as, as my always, car friends, is remember, not working. It's all just a theory. A There's game all the fine print. Thanks for watching. Okay. Oh. Mario Party should be illegal. Oh yeah, Bill Cipher. Apparently, canonically, in the Death Battle universe, Bill Cipher's name is the Duck Goose Moo. That's actually a thing. They used an anagram for the Duck Goose Moo when they had his first name for like a split second. It's actually kind of crazy in the Death Battle. The fact that I called it this happening was insane. Uh, Ten-year-old detail solves FNAF, so it's really the mimic. They really made a 21-minute video about FNAF 2. Well, also talking about the anniversary stuff, which I imagine are probably going to come up with another FNAF-related video very soon, especially with, in well, they literally said it with Into the Pit and whatnot, but I guess this is just kind of like not jumping the gun on Into the Pit, trying to find as many details as possible. This is to get something because FNAF is really popular with the anniversary event. So, I remember people telling me in the comments that the, the anniversary event was going on, which is awesome. Crazy that FNAF is 10 years old already. Crazy that I graduated high school nine years ago. Um, yeah, so that's definitely something. But, yeah, I look forward to reading your comments. Let me know what the next Game Theory franchise should be. Um, as I only have one more Minecraft uh, Game Theory video to do, which should be out next Wednesday. It'll be the newest one that came out a couple weeks ago. Patrons get all the videos a day early, and then we'll start with a new Game Theory, because Game Theory is always on Wednesdays. But patrons get all the videos a day early. I could not do this if it was not for them. I hope you have a wonderful day. I look forward to reading your comments. But until the next video, take care, and keep the music.
for play.